the Philippine Air Force is set to strengthen its capabilities as it secures 26 new multi-role fighter aircraft, a significant boost to our national defense. These state-of-the-art aircraft will enhance our country's ability to protect our sovereignty and safeguard our national security. With this addition to our fleet, the Philippine Air Force will be better equipped to conduct various missions, including air defense, interdiction, and close air support. These multi-role fighter aircraft can operate in different environments, ensuring the flexibility and versatility needed in today's ever-changing security landscape. These aircraft are equipped with advanced avionics and cutting-edge weaponry, making them a formidable force in the skies. Their superior capabilities will enable our Air Force to effectively respond to any threats that may arise, ensuring the safety and security of our nation and its people. The acquisition of these new multi-role fighter aircraft demonstrates the commitment of the Philippine Air Force in modernizing its capabilities and ensuring readiness for any future challenges. With the continued support from the government, our Air Force will be well prepared to handle any scenario that may threaten our national security. In addition, this acquisition will also contribute to the country's economic development. The investment in defense capabilities will boost the local defense industry, creating job opportunities and promoting technological advancements in the country. The Philippine Air Force's acquisition of 26 new multi-role fighter aircraft is a milestone in our country's defense capabilities. We can now proudly say that our Air Force is one step closer to being a formidable force in the region. With these state-of-the-art aircraft, we are better equipped to protect our sovereignty and secure our nation. Thank you for watching this video on the exciting development of the Philippine Air Force. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on our country's national defense. Welcome to our channel. In this highly anticipated video, we bring you exhilarating news about the Philippine Air Force's monumental step towards bolstering national defense. Brace yourselves as we unveil the exciting addition of 26 brand new, cutting-edge multi-role fighter aircraft to the PAF fleet. With the acquisition of these game-changing fighter jets, the Philippine Air Force is poised to soar to new heights in terms of combat prowess and safeguarding our beloved nation's airspace. These state-of-the-art aircraft will play a crucial role in maintaining and enhancing our country's security, each unit is meticulously crafted, boasting advanced technologies that ensure superior performance and unmatched versatility. These multi-role fighter aircraft are equipped to handle various missions, from air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground attacks to reconnaissance and surveillance operations. The PAF's capabilities have just been taken to another level, Witness the sheer power and agility of these fighters as they dominate the skies, demonstrating their unmatched capabilities, speed, and precision. Accompanied by highly skilled pilots who undergo rigorous training, the Philippine Air Force stands ready to face any threats to our nation's sovereignty. By investing in these top-of-the-line aircraft, the Philippine Air Force affirms its commitment to providing a safe and secure environment for the Filipino people. This acquisition not only strengthens our defense capabilities but also puts our nation on equal footing with global partners. Join us in celebrating this monumental milestone as we embark on a new chapter of aviation excellence. Stay tuned for exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, interviews, and in-depth analysis of the multi-role fighter aircraft's capabilities and impact on the Philippine Air Force and national security as a whole. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates as we continue to bring you the latest news, events, and advancements in the field of aviation and defense. Don't miss out on the journey towards a stronger, more secure Philippines. Philippine Air Force may soon receive Saab Gripen fighters, Acting Defense Secretary of the Philippines Carlito Galvez Jr. and Swedish Defense Minister Paul Johnson recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAU, that will allow Swedish companies to participate in the Philippines' various defense procurement programs. Among other defense plans, Manila's current priority is to enhance the Philippine Air Force's surveillance and interdiction capabilities. The Philippine Air Force is conducting a multi-role fighter acquisition program, MRF, that sees Sweden, Gripen, and United States, F-16, proposals top above those of India, Tejas, and China, JF-17 Thunder. The purchase of second-hand aircraft is the nation's preferred route as they better meet the defense budget. Saab's offer includes a batch of Gripen C and D fighters, single and two-seat, upgraded with fifth-generation systems, the unofficial designation of which is standard C. On the other hand, the U.S. proposal is based on second-hand F-16 Block 5052 jets upgraded to Viper standard, Stephen Pereno, 
Chief of Staff of the Philippine Air Force, led a small delegation to Sweden May 24 to 28, where he met with Swedish Air Force commanders and toured Saab facilities to learn more about JAS 39. Fighters and the Saab 340 AEWC, the purchase of new fighters aims to bolster PAF's current fleet of 12 South Korean manufactured FA 50PH supersonic light fighters. According to a recent news article, the Philippine Air Force, PAF, has approved the acquisition of multi-role fighter, MRF aircraft. The PAF is currently in the process of selecting the model and type of the MRFs, with many proponents offering their products one. The MRF acquisition project has already been approved by President Rodrigo Arc Duterte, and the contract for the project may be signed this year one. The PAF's requirement for its MRF project stipulates that the offered aircraft must be fourth generation or higher one. The project also requires at least 12 MRFs capable of patrolling the country's protected waters and airspace. The PAF is considering two proposals for the MRF project the F-16 Viper of United States Lockheed Martin and Jazz, 39 Gripen of Sweden Saab 12. The Swedish-made Gripen is a light single-engine MRF capable of speeds up to Mach 2.0. It is armed with a 20mm automatic cannon and is capable of carrying a variety of rockets, bombs, missiles, and surveillance equipment 1. Meanwhile, the American F-16 has a top speed of Mach 2.0, can also carry an assortment of bombs and missiles and sensors, and is armed with a 20mm cannon. Once these MRFs are acquired, the PAF, with the help of these radar systems, can be deployed to determine whether the aircraft flying over the country's airspace is friendly or hostile one. These proposed MRFs are expected to augment the existing fleet of 12 South Korean-made Mach 1.5 capable FA-50PH jet aircraft acquired from 2015 to 2017 by the PAF as its first supersonic aircraft after the decommissioning of its Northrop F-5 Tiger jet fighters in 2005. Did you know that the Philippines is enhancing its air defense capabilities? Many Filipino experts believe that acquiring 12 Gripen and 12 F-16 fighters would be a game-changer. So, what's all the buzz about? Well, let's take a closer look. First, the Gripen. Known for its advanced technology and agility, these fighters would significantly enhance the Philippines' air combat capabilities. With its superior radar system and advanced weapons, the Gripen is capable of detecting and intercepting threats with precision. Secondly, the F-16. This battle-proven aircraft has a long-standing reputation for its versatility and power. Equipped with advanced avionics and a wide array of munitions, the F-16 can effectively neutralize a wide range of threats, both in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground scenarios. By acquiring both the Gripen and F-16, the Philippines would possess a balanced fleet of fighters. This combination would not only increase the country's air defense capabilities but also strengthen its combat role. With these fighters, the Philippines would have the means to deter potential adversaries, protect its airspace, and uphold national security. This acquisition would be a significant step towards ensuring the safety and sovereignty of the Filipino people. Thanks for watching this video on boosting the Philippines' air defense, the case for 12 Gripen and 12 F-16 fighters. We hope you found it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content, remember to subscribe to our channel for more updates on defense and international affairs. Together, let's support the efforts to strengthen the Philippines' air defense capabilities.